It is my favorite kind of Oregon weather. Um, it's the 13th of April, and we are doing um, tomato transplants today. The seed sprouts are getting transplanted, and so this is the outdoor setup that I have to make it go quick. Um, shovel full, toss it in, and uh, fill up your little four inch pots. That's what everything's going into. All the seed starts are going into that. And then it looks like this. Um, I did 10 of these, 11 of these, something like that last night. And um, so I like to get all the soil wet so that way it already has a bunch of moisture in it and it's ready to go um, for the uh, starts. And um, this soil had been outside in the rain. It's been raining for a couple days and it's been cold. And um, so I wanted the soil to get up to room temperature so that way when the starts go in there it's less of a shock to the roots um, to be introduced into room temperature soil instead of it's like, I don't know, 40 degrees out here or something like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, we've got a bunch of these trays waiting for us and we're gonna go get started. Okay, so it's really hard to show in the LED lighting and it's dark outside now, so I had to come back to the car, but this is worth showing. This yellowing here that you see on these romas right there, that is how you know it's time to up pot and get these uh, starts. See, there's all yellows everywhere. Get these starts out of these uh, cocoa core cells, individual cells, and um, into your little four inch pots. Uh, there's no nutrients in this cocoa core, it's sterile. Um, and so they're hungry, they're starving, they're ready to go. And um, yeah. So that's that's uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Is that's a good that's that's how that's the sign to look for to know that it's time to up hot. Alrighty, to uh, get prepared for transplanting, you want to take all your trays and you want to make them ready to receive the uh, starts. So you go through and uh, just make yourself some preparatory holes for the babies to go into. More or less. And just make them kind of look like that, and then you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so you got your uh, starts, your seedlings here that need to come out of the trays. So you need a spoon. And you just take them, and this is super easy. Like so. Easy peasy. And then. Into the hole she goes. Oops, like that. We're going to do this 150 times tonight. Uh, these are what are these? Brandy wines. Um, brandy wine slicing tomatoes. Uh, and we got Romas from Strictly Medicinal tonight. Uh, black strawberry and atomic grape from Baker Creek. Romas from Baker Creek. Some Cherokee purple slicing tomatoes from Baker Creek. Oh boy. Yeah. And don't forget to label stuff. Labels are your friends. We got, I have some label maker here somewhere. I got some uh, blue tape. Uh, that's what I like to use. I'll find that here and we'll start, I'll show you. Labels are very important. So you got your starts out of the individual cells and you got them set up all in the holes that you prepared. And then you can go ahead and start transplanting, making them like so. Painter's tape. Just labeled BW all the way around for brandy wine. However, 
you want to do it, label it, whatever, that's what we're going with today. And so everything gets labeled like so. And that's how we make sure we don't have to play the game where we say, hey, flower it out and figure out what it is. This is what your tray will look like when it's done. All your uh, BW, We've got all of our Bob Weirs ready to go. Um, but yeah, so get all your trays and then, you know, that's how you transplant. And you're good to go for another few weeks, right? One last thing is they need to get all your transplants always need to get watered in whenever they're getting moved. Um, if you did not do like I did, where I used pre-soaked uh, growing medium soil, um, you'll need to water thoroughly so that way your soil is wet all the way through and there aren't any dry patches in the, in the uh, pot that you put them into. And so that way they dry out in an even, even way. Um, yeah, uh, but since these are, they went into uh, soil that was already moist, mostly already wet. Um, they just need a little bit of water. So we're just going to just hit them up a little bit right where they got transplanted. Using my water that I keep in the room so that way it is room temperature when I go to give these babies a little drink but yeah so that's it I'm just um, yeah I just wanted to show that you are gotta water your transplants in um, that's important and um, these are good to go for a couple weeks now. That is that. That's the last thing.